every minute counts after someone suffers a heart attack because the damage it can cause can last a lifetime. In Your Health Matters tonight as part of National Heart Month, 7 of 4's Holly Baker shows us what one Northern Michigan hospital is doing to prevent those devastating effects. Time is crucial after someone has a heart attack. Getting uh, good CPR to those patients as soon as possible has the best chance of saving their life. The more minutes a person goes without good blood circulation, the higher the chances they can have negative effects to the rest of their body. The next problem they face is once you get return of spontaneous circulation, to limit the damage that the other organs start to show, and namely the, the brain and the kidney and even the heart. Vice President of Inpatient Cardiology, Dr. Anthony Ochoa, along with Munson Medical Center in Traverse City, are doing more to prevent that damage from occurring by using this machine to cool down a patient's cord body temperature with therapeutic hypothermia. The idea behind that or principle is to decrease the amount of inflammation that occurs once somebody has a cardiac arrest, but we've been able to restore their heart rhythm and return circulation back. A person is not awake during therapeutic hypothermia and they are only a candidate for the treatment if they meet certain criteria in a physician's checklist. It's a combination of a gel pad and a cooling blanket that we use. The gel pad is placed over the skin, over the thighs and the uh, chest and abdomen and it circulates water at a very cold temperature and then on top of that we had a cooling blanket over the whole body except for the face. The cooling device, called the Arctic Sun, lowers a person's body temperature to between 32 and 34 degrees Celsius, about 4 degrees from our body's normal temperature of 37 degrees Celsius, or 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. I often use the analogy of a lot of people remember the NFL player that they threw in a bucket of ice you know, when he injured his spinal cord and now that player is beginning to walk. It's the same kind of process. You're trying to limit the damage. and and literally freeze it where it's at so it doesn't get out of hand and the patient has a chance for those nerves or whatever organ we're able to, to save to, to get regenerate, get back to what it was. The therapy lasts about 48 hours, including the cooling and then rewarming process. While on the machine, the patient is closely monitored around the clock by a team, including cardiologists and critical care nurses. Now Munson is seeing an increased need for therapeutic hypothermia. We started using this te technology almost four years ago, and in that time, uh, we have gotten to the point where our volume has increased. We have we just purchased a new device, a second device, because we've had times where, unfortunately, more than one person has a cardiac arrest and may need the device. And but before they ever get to the hospital, surrounding friends and family can play the most important role in saving someone's life. These patients don't get to the Arctic Sun machine unless somebody provided them adequate CPR and was able to get that heart restarted again. In Traverse City, Holly Baker, 7 and 4 News. Well, as part of National Heart Month, Munson Medical Center is offering one-on-one -on -one cardiovascular risk evaluations over the next two weeks. For more information on those heart screenings and therapeutic hypothermia, you can head to our website, upnorthlive.com. Click on the Your Health Matters tab at the top of the page.